the channel guys in today's episode I am Yamaha Banshee swapping my Murray mower. I always wanted to get my hands on a Banshee engine and uh, one of my YouTuber friends actually hooked me up with this so I'll be talking more about that later in the video. I know some of you are going to be saying, Vasily why don't you just work out the kinks on the snowmobile engine just make everything and go full send it. Well actually it's not that simple. Don't get me wrong, the triple is a good platform, it's just a bad platform for this application due to the limited space. This engine is actually more reliable, it's more simpler, it has more aftermarket and it has more potential to make more power. Just drop it in a stroker crank and some race gas, you can get up to 100 horsepower on these things. For those of you that stuck from the very beginning and wanted to see this thing dialed in, I apologize, but I am going to make it up for you, I promise. But let me just give you three reasons why this isn't going to work. One of the problems is the CVT. It's sticking out way past the frame and I can't do anything about that. That's the shortest distance it will go. And that's actually what's causing me to lose power is the incorrect distance between the two pulleys. Right now I only have two to three inches of ground clearance and even if I lift this thing, put huge tires on it, it's still going to be a bottleneck. So any serious off-roading, I'm going to hit a rock or hit some mud and it's just going to throw everything off. I'm going to get stuck. I was also having issues with the reverse box. Um, not very reliable. Guys, I tell you what, this Banshee engine was not cheap. Adam Paganelli hooked me up with this uh, engine. He included a set of drag pipes, carburetors, all the wiring for uh, $2,000. So just the engine by itself on eBay is going for three or $4,000. Let's do this. 10,000 likes and I'll reconsider putting the deck on. It's not a promise. Uh, that's just a consideration. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get right into the mower build. I got mostly everything off we still need to get this reverse box off and then that's when we start cutting so there's a lot of stuff we're gonna have to cut off just too much stuff in the way and then we're gonna have to redo our steering Right guys, I got everything cut and ground. Whew, it is like 100 degrees out here guys, but I decided I'm not gonna be running a reverse box. Just to keep things simple, so this is the correct uh, rotation, but we have a few problems. So we're gonna have to configure this engine in a way to where the Kickstarter has full range of motion and it clears the frame. Then we also need to tilt this thing upwards so that the head uh, clears the hood. So on Banshees, uh, obviously the axle is that way, the chain goes that way, but we're gonna have to try something pretty sketchy and new here. We're gonna actually cut a little bit of this fin off and make the chain go down. That's gonna save us just a whole bunch of time and it's just gonna make everything simpler. Right now the sprocket is also very close to the front diff which is, it's gonna send all, most of the power to the front diff instead of the rear, so we're gonna have to run a jack shaft and move it backwards. I'm utilizing the stock engine mounts, um, and we'll have a, be able to tension the chain like that, side to side and up and down. Alright guys, for the Banshee purist, make sure you close your eyes for this next part. But I'm going to be cutting off part of this engine case like so. That way our chain can just run downwards. And this is really uh, nothing structural, so let's hope that this works.
Okay, let's just hope we don't cut into the crankcase, otherwise this thing will never run. So basically, it's gonna be something like that. We're gonna tilt this engine backwards, and it should be perfect. Alrighty guys, we got the engine mounted. This thing is solid. The chain checks out so it doesn't hit the case and it's not gonna hit the shift shaft. So now we need to work on connecting the drive line. So from here to there. I tell you what guys, since we have no huge clutch in the way, it is a lot easier to set up the drive shaft. We have a total of four U-joints and that's needed because I need some way to adjust the tension on the drive shaft just in case we have to do quick gear ratio changes. We're going to make sure to clock all those properly, add a few more supports, and the whole bottom of this mower will be just supported, triangulated. Guys, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and install a dual manifold like this one. Uh, this is not going to be good for high horsepower. Got some stock reed cages up in here, so we're going to have to fix that. So I decided instead of giving up, I'm going to actually take this build to the end to perfection. Still quite a bit more work to do, but we're actually really close. I think this is only going to take like two or three episodes until we get to see it run. We're going to make this thing epic. I got all sorts of goodies for it. I got my drag pipes here, guys, and I'm thinking they're going to have to stick out from the side. And this time, instead of three, there's only going to be two. And uh, I can already tell you guys, this thing is going to be fast. The Banshee also opens up the possibility of running a mower deck and actually making this thing mow. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to have to do it for this one. I'm waiting on sprockets and steering components, which won't be here until next week. So, But yeah, let me know what you thought of the video, if there's something I can improve on. Uh, if you like the explaining or if you want me to cut down on the talking. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll have to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more and peace. Thank you.